People who devote their lives to art often have some very interesting stories that make up their lives. The same is true for Kirsten Lindholm, who made several astonishing career choices in her life before finally settling down. In this video, we're going to go through the exciting and sometimes depressing life of Kirsten and share with you facts you've probably never heard before. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed. We're gonna do our best to personally reply to your comment. Early life. Kirsten Lindholm was born September 1st, 1943 in Denmark. Her mother was a stay-at-home mom while her father worked for an engineering company. Her early life was more or less stable. Although Denmark is known to be one of the happiest countries in the world, the truth is that all the problems that people face on a daily basis were also faced by Kirsten's family. Because she was born near the end of World War II, her family was going through problems in terms of providing enough income for the family and trying to live a happy life. The news was also depressing, and there were not many educational materials for Kirsten, so her parents soon made a decision to move from the dark times of Europe. Moving to New Zealand and ballroom dancing When Kirsten was only six years old, her family moved to New Zealand. Her parents were both able to find jobs in the new country, and life seemed to be going towards a better path. New Zealand had not been as devastated by World War II as Europe was, and there were many fun activities that Kirsten could participate in. Her parents wanted to give her the best life possible and often encouraged her to pick up as many hobbies as she liked. Because most things regarding children's education were free in New Zealand at the time, it meant that Kirsten had many options in front of her. She decided to try ballroom dancing. She was excellent at that, and many instructors took notice of her and trained her to participate in national and even world championships. Kirsten won many awards for her ballroom dancing skills and kept doing it for several years more. University and Acting Aspirations Kirsten attended Auckland University, where she studied and majored in languages. However, although she loved her major, she was also very attracted to the many drama classes that were available at the time. She began her small acting career doing many plays at the university. Acting was not as popular in New Zealand at the time, so she was not able to search for audition opportunities just yet. After she graduated from university, she decided to move to London to pursue a more serious acting career. First Acting Roles So London provided far more acting opportunities for Kirsten. At first, it was very difficult to find auditions as she had to constantly purchase different newspapers and search for open auditions. With no agent to help her on her journey and very little money to support herself, Kirsten spent several years working at pubs while simultaneously attending auditions. Finally, her career started to take off in the late 1960s. She first appeared in the London play Pajama Tops, in 1969, which was very well received by the critics, she also spent much of her free time working as a model for store magazines and advertisements. She was not able to get roles for big movies, so she ended up switching her focus to horror movies instead. Because these movies were very low budget and made in the dozens every year, there were far more opportunities for her to make money. For example, she appeared in the horror movie The Vampire Lovers, where her character was beheaded before the opening titles even started continued acting, and disappointment in the industry. Sadly, Kirsten was not the only one to be disappointed in the acting industry. She continued to appear in more and more horror movies, but this was far from her passion. She appeared in films such as Twins of Evil and Lust for a Vampire. The biggest problem was the existence of the acting couch. Kirsten refused to flirt with directors and be intimate with them just so she could receive a more serious role. Unfortunately, many of the other actresses of the time were willing to do just that. Kirsten was beautiful, very talented, but the darkness of the industry was overshadowed by all her attempts at a successful career. At this point, her parents were also worried about her life choices, as they were wondering how she would be able to make a living. Kirsten continued to pursue an acting and modeling career for a few more years, but eventually gave up. The years were catching up to her. So, not only was she no longer offered horror film roles as an unknown actress at the time, she was also refused all roles, point blank. There was no other choice for Kirsten than to give up her acting dreams. A switch to yoga. In the late 1980s, Kirsten decided to have a change of career. She felt empty and lost in London with a job that was going nowhere and no personal or social life to speak of. So in order to deal with the problem, she soon discovered the power of yoga in a free yoga class. 
Her ambitions instantly changed, and she decided to devote her entire life to yoga and become a yoga teacher. For Kirsten, yoga was not just a spiritual practice, it was also extremely spiritual. She took it very seriously and immersed herself in all the teachings of yoga that she could possibly find. Love in Later Life So during one of those classes, Kirsten met Vic Briggs. Vic had converted to Sikhism several years before and had taken the spiritual name Vikram Singh. Kirsten was inspired by him. They soon fell in love. Vic had a profound influence on Kirsten's beliefs and behavior, and it was only a couple of years later that she decided to convert to Sikhism. She took the spiritual name Vikram Karkalsa and soon married Vic Briggs. They were madly in love, decided they would move to California and expand their yoga ambitions. In San Diego, they started a Sikh group which focused on spiritual healing of the body and the mind. Things were going well, so they moved to Hawaii, where yoga was becoming very popular at the time. In Hawaii, Kirsten worked as a healing practitioner alongside Vic and founded the Hohomana Kilaka Healing Workshops. Their workshops were very popular in Hawaii, and the couple were able to make a very good living with their job. By now, there was no other mention of acting or modeling, and Kirsten had devoted her entire life to yoga. Finally, the couple moved to Hibiscus Coast, New Zealand in 2008. Kirsten considered New Zealand her true home, and because she couldn't visit her family often, she wanted to return and spend time with her parents before they passed away. Her husband supported her decision and decided to move to New Zealand with her. To this day, they run several yoga workshops on the Hibiscus Coast in New Zealand and are focusing on spiritual healing and love towards yoga. It is said that they've got many followers who are inspired by their passion and style of life. Kirsten no longer talks about her acting or modeling career and focuses entirely on living a private life away from the entertainment industry. So have you heard about Kirsten Lindholm? Have you seen any of her movies or magazine appearances? Let us know in the comments below and check out the next video in this series.